Hi, my name is Mash Nuts, and today I want to talk about this beautiful string that was sent to me. So Amy from Amy Rose Jewelry Supplies reached out to me and asked me if she could send me some thread that she sells on her Etsy shop, and of course I agreed. This video isn't sponsored, I'm not being paid to say anything, but they did send me this for free, so I'm gonna talk about it and share my opinions. So let's start with the metallics. This gorgeous metallic string is Sullivan's Ocean Sunrise, number 44452. And it goes from sort of a pink to blue to yellow, or gold, and I think it looks really beautiful. It's also a different texture. I don't think I've ever encountered metallic thread of this specific texture. It's a bit softer than the normal metallic thread. And then we also have this one, which is a little bit brighter. It's also pink, blue, and yellow, but it's more, this one is a bit more muted, and this one is a bit more bright. And this one is Sullivan's Jewel Jubilee 44451. I'm yet to try the metallics, but based on what Amy told me, she said that it's best to separate the strands. The string sort of consists out of multiple strands, and this is the case with like all string, but metallic tends to separate like this. And she says that instead of using all six, it's best to separate into four strands. I'm yet to use this, so I can't really comment on that, but that is what she said. But also in the package, and what I'm most excited about, was this beautiful, beautiful rainbow thread and this pastel rainbow rainbow thread. So I actually got two of these, and one of them I already used to make a bracelet, so I'm mostly going to be focusing on this one. They are both absolutely gorgeous, and these are Threadworks. The pastel one is Threadworks Wildflowers 10592, and this rainbow one is Threadworks Bradley's Balloons number 1154. So in terms of string thickness, this is basically just like regular embroidery floss, and that's also the feel that it has, and I found that the knots that it makes are also the same sort of size, so they fit really well with the embroidery floss that I already use. As for how they are structured, they're a little bit different. So you can see that there's more than two ends here. That is because this is not just one big strand of string, but instead there's multiple strands of string sort of wrapped around together. So this is the one that I already unwrapped and made a bracelet with, and you can see that they are all individual sort of strands. They are quite long, I'm not sure exactly if I find it, I'll put it on the screen, but it's enough to go from the tip of my fingers to the middle of my chest, which is the sort of length that I normally use for bracelets anyway, so that's not really an issue. I don't know why it's done like this specifically and not normal floss, which is just wrapped around together in sort of one consistent string. I assume it's because it's easier to dye a string when you cut it, but I have no idea. I don't personally see this as much of an issue, but I thought I'd just mention it in case anyone else does. I actually think that because of this, because they're all stranded individually, it allows for a better flow of colors. So as you can see, all of the strings sort of flow through the colors at about the same time, not exactly, but typically it's the same time. And just look at these gorgeous colors. They're absolutely beautiful. I love the rainbow that it gives here. And because they cycle through the colors sort of in a similar way, if you use multiple strands in a bracelet, then all of the colors in the bracelet cycle through in about the same way. And you'll get to see that in the bracelet that I created. Another thing that was included in my package here was this bracelet. And I assume this was made by Amy. <laughs> And it's sort of, it's a great showcase of what this thread can do. Look at how absolutely beautiful those colors look when they are shifting through the rainbow in this bracelet. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Some of you may know that I've been on the hunt for rainbow thread for a really long time, and it's very difficult to come by, so I'm really happy to know that this is now an option. If you do want to purchase this, I'll leave the link to the Amy Rose Jewelry Supply Store. They sell on Etsy, there's also an Instagram and a Facebook, and I'll leave all those links in the description for you. Once again, I'm not being paid to say anything. I just, I like it. I've been on the hunt for rainbow thread for a long time and I finally found some. So that's why I'm sharing with you guys. Anyway, all of that being said, let's get into the bracelet that I created in my first Not With Me since my time in Russia. Let's get to it. And welcome, welcome back. It is definitely, definitely good to be back now in London and back to my regular setup, which finally allows me to do time lapses. Um, the reason I didn't do any while I was in Russia is because I didn't have my lights, which sort of are able to provide a consistent stream of light uh, to be able to do a time lapse. The only sort of lighting I had was the window, and obviously that's not very consistent. But you know, even here with the light being consistent, um, you can still see that it goes like bright and dark because I keep flashing my hands in front of the camera, so sort of blocking out half the light. But anyway, 
it's just technical stuff. I am glad to be back, I'm glad to finally be doing Not With Me videos again. I really like these, I use these as like an opportunity to just talk to you guys, update you on what's going on, and based on the feedback that I've been getting, you guys seem to really enjoy this as well, because it's just like a calming sort of um, knotting session, I guess. A lot of you guys told me that you're not along with me in these Not With Me videos, which gives it a very fitting name, Not With Me, you know. <laughs> anyway, I am definitely glad to be back and filming. Uh, I'm getting ready to film some tutorials for you guys as well, so that's definitely coming soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, the other thing that I was really excited to be back to is my beautiful washi tape, which you can see here at the top. These beautiful little kitties. Uh, I have such a huge collection of washi tapes and I always spend a long time trying to figure out which one I want for each specific video. It's like a fun little pre-filming ritual that I have and I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, uh, these washi tape though, it makes me kind of miss the cats that I left back in Moscow, which is really sad. I lived with the uh, two of them and uh, Stefan, who's my husband. Uh, we lived together for three months straight during quarantine and I miss those babies a lot. Uh, some of you guys were asking for updates on the cats as well because uh, some of you may know I did, uh, we spayed them. So they had to go through like a surgery. Um, yeah, they spent 10 to I think 12 days, I don't remember specifically, um, in those little sort of apron things that they had to cover the stitch so they won't lick themselves. Uh, but now that's been taken off, the stitches have been taken out and they're completely fine. Oh, you can see me in the bracelet, yeah, untying that. Oh, yeah, I had such, such a difficult time uh, making this pattern for some reason and I, I genuinely don't know why because like it's not that difficult of a pattern. I just got really confused all the time, so you will see me multiple times throughout this video going in to untie certain pieces because I just did it wrong. And I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. You Also, you can see me here uh, trying to segment knot in different ways. I first tried one way and then I'm doing another way. There's no right or wrong way to segment knot. If you're getting all the knots in, you're getting all the knots in. It doesn't really matter in which order you get them in. Um, but yeah, I just I tried different uh, varieties here. But yeah, back to the bracelet. I love the way that the string turned out here. It is absolutely gorgeous. The color change is relatively quick, uh, probably on the quicker side. It's, it's, it's definitely a quick color change. Uh, so you see that it, even here you see some green at the top and now we're already like down to purple, although that's not the same string, okay? Yellow to purple on that string. Um, so yeah, the color change is definitely pretty quick. I wanted to try this one in alpha bracelets as well, just uh, because I like to use sort of variated thread, thread, thread <laughs> in the backgrounds of my alphas, but I feel like this, because the color change here is so quick, I feel like it's just gonna result in a bunch of stripes instead of a nice sort of cohesive color change. But I guess if you use like a thinner one, though still I think it would just be stripey. Um, I'm not gonna try it though, because I don't have that much of the thread and I wanna, you know, limit myself. I don't wanna go and uh, waste it all on an alpha. It's just not a good use of resources, I don't think. So I'm gonna keep to making normals with this one and sort of try not to use as, as much of it as maybe I would like to. <laughs> Although if I do run out, I can always buy more, which I probably will at some point because it is genuinely great. I love it a lot. Uh, I was thinking about what pattern to do and I feel like I did a really good choice of pattern. I really like, with variated thread, I like to use patterns that have some sort of outline uh, so you can, you know, highlight the color change somehow. So maybe have like some kind of sparkly or another type of string you know, as the outline, maybe black or white, and then the variated thread in the center of that outline. Uh, but also uh, bracelets that are dual tone, so two colors, sort of like here. Well, originally the pattern actually had three colors because the left sort of zigzag and the right zigzag were different colors, but you can easily change that to be the same color, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you have a background and you have these zigzags, so I, I like to use these dual tone patterns with a variated thread as well. I think um, they, they look really good as well. Uh, but yeah, I definitely struggled with this pattern. Uh, I think already twice in this video I you saw me untie it and I definitely untied it more than that later on. I finished the time lapse all early because I got really fed up with filming. Uh, by the end of it, you'll see me as well. I, I sort of I ran out of string. Uh, I know that in the beginning I said that what well, is uh, about one yard, right? I've already edited the beginning, so <laughs> that's why I'm doing the voiceover last. Uh, it's about one yard, um, which isn't like 
no, it's, it's, it's a good amount, it's a good amount. Uh, but I did have to, for three of these strings, there's six strings here, for three of them I had to reinsert more string uh, down at the bottom, which is not a big deal, like you can just do it, it's not a big issue, but it was kind of annoying, so I sort of stopped filming uh, once I got to that point. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that, that, that was not fun. Uh, I'm also filming another video uh, really soon for you guys about how to change colors uh, within your bracelet. Uh, <laughs> if you don't have variated thread, but you still want to, my squeaky chair, uh, but you still want to experiment with changing uh, colors in your bracelet, in your normals, I am also filming a tutorial on that, so that should be very fun. It involves a lot of the same thing, you basically have to change the thread, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Uh, so yeah, I had a lot of switching the threads on camera uh, for a while. But yeah, I really enjoy these time lapses, I really enjoy filming them, uh, and I really enjoy watching them back and editing. Um, I At the end of this video, there is like a super fast time lapse of the same thing, so you see here the time lapse is about eight, nine minutes, I, don't, I think but uh, the super fast time lapse is like 15 seconds uh, for the entire bracelet and it's super satisfying to see. I, uh, it just, I don't know, I, I really enjoy watching the process of a bracelet's creation. It's just fascinating, it's fascinating to me. All right, we're, we're heading near the end. Uh, I think right about now I start uh, inserting the strings, the new strings into the bracelet. Yeah, you can see me here trying to figure out uh, what color to put in at what point so the color change is smooth smooth uh, I don't want it to sort of go into like a green or something So I had to pick out what color change it is And then at that point the color sort of came a bit out of sync because well because I inserted new strings um, But yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> head off from the time-lapse soon uh, I just wanted to mention that as you are watching this uh, as I'm posting this video I will be going live on Twitch relatively soon so make sure you're following me on there so you get a notification whenever I go live. If you missed the live stream straight after this video, then I'm definitely going to be going live soon as well. I recently got a new webcam for streaming specifically, which looks awesome. I love the quality of the webcam, so my stream is now of better quality and I would love it if you guys would join me, we hang out and talk and do a bunch of cool stuff on there. Uh, so yeah, uh, this bracelet though, I, yeah, the time lapse is, is about to finish, but this bracelet turned out absolutely amazing. I love how it looks. It's probably my favorite creation in, well, in a really long time. It's genuinely awesome. I love it a lot. Um, and you're gonna see some close-up shots in just a second as well. Uh, it's so, so beautiful. I am now thinking what other bracelets I can create with this string, but I don't know. I just love how the color change looks looks that uh, it's just look at that just just look at that isn't that absolutely gorgeous I love it uh, also the way that I did the triangle ends here is that I did the triangle end and then I flipped it upside down to start the bracelet so the knots of the triangle end are on the other side uh, I just I love this bracelet I love this string it is so so awesome. But yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be going live on Twitch right after this video drops, so be sure to click that link in the description and follow me on there, and also join the stream, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are gonna be appearing on screen right now. If you also wanna become a patron and get exclusive patron perks, like a package from me every other month with bracelet materials and sometimes bracelets themselves, check out the link in the description and sign up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.